Hi, my name is Nelson. Welcome to a video. Really? We are. What? You don't talk like that. You like, what up, ladies and gentlemen? I can't. It's weird. You're sitting here watching Jesus, me do this. It's weird. How do I know? I need more privacy. You do that. What? Oh, so, excuse me. Go away in the kitchen. No. Go away in the damn kitchen. Do you want to get punched? You're gonna strike me? That's illegal. I will strike you. I will you. call the cops. I don't care if you're gonna call the cops. Before they get here, I'm gonna beat you. <coughs> wow. So, we have ourselves week six. And I'm gonna go up against the greatest play in the history of this game. So, this guy comes out in pistol trips. And we shut down his run for the most part. And then he calls vertical. This play right here. He calls verticals every single play, and I could not stop it. I, I could not stop it. He goes to the left, and oh, actually, I, I'm sorry. I'm confused. I throw a pick right there. That's my fault. I was on offense because uh, we run similar offense. This is me shutting down his run, and then he goes to verticals where he has the motion right over there on the left side, and this is the first time I go. I mean, this play is in my playbook, and I could not stop it. Like, I literally could not stop it, and it sucks <coughs> that... Uh, I didn't think of a way to stop it until after the game. And I was like, damn it, why didn't I do this? This would have been a good way to stop it. He literally called the exact same two plays on offense and defense. On defense, it was cover th uh, cover three out of the um, out of four four split. The exact same play each and every single play. And on offense, it was verticals. Now, what made it difficult was the motion. I had to press. If you don't press, because I run that play too every now and then. I don't really run it based like how he was running it. But every now and then I'd run it. And I know that because of the play and how it is, where the receiver on the far left or, or right, whichever way you flip it, they go on ahead and they get like, a, like an indent before cutting up field. <clears throat> and unless you run, you know, if you're backed off, it's guaranteed to be a completion unless it's a hard flat. But then he'll just streak right over the top of the hard flat. So, uh, but what made it difficult was that he had to drag, he, he would drag the tight end as we got an interception right there. So right there, I'm feeling, feeling good. You know, we got ourselves an interception right there. So, okay, maybe, you know, we can stop this. Like, is he going to do this every play? Now, at this point, I had no idea how difficult it was for it to stop. Now, now let me not say difficult to stop because it's not. I know 97% of you guys would just completely shut this down. And there's me playing way too conservative. I hate when I play like this sometimes. But, you know, uh, sometimes, for the most part, it works out for me. But then sometimes it doesn't. <coughs> but um, I'm just, you know, like, just really struggling with being able to stop this damn play. So you see how he has like that indent over there on the left side and he was, you know, just killing me with it play after play after play. And then when I would guard it, he would just go to the drag route on the left side uh, from the tight end. He would motion, he would uh, have the running back on the route. Now I couldn't blitz him. Blitzing was out the question because he would just hit the drag. He would hit these really quick routes. So it's like, all right, I got to take away this indent. But then bam, he would just have the verticals every single play, even in the damn red zone. I want it. To break something nothing is more frustrated now by no means am i frustrated because you know some people are like really you're calling the same play absolutely <clears throat> you know if i can't stop it by all means call the exact same play over and over and over i only call about four to five plays but you best believe if you know you ask any nfl quarterback or uh coach if they can call the exact same play each and every single time and have success with it you best believe they would so uh, by no means am I frustrated by his lack of diversity. I, I, I just cannot seem to stop it. And then man to man, the uh, he would just go to a drag route and it would torch it. So now I thought of now I, I know what. Well, I now I know what I should have done to stop it. Like right there, I sent the blitz with a hard flat. You know, just hoping that the pressure would get there before, you know, he cut up field. And then uh, right there, we get ourselves another stop. So it's like, okay, that right there was good. He went to a long out route right there. And we get ourselves another stop. So now we have a good chance to see if we can go on ahead and get some points on the board. We get a drop pass right there, which is frustrating. But very next play, doesn't matter. We go over the middle. We put ourselves in field goal range. We kick a field goal. We go up six points. Back again on defense. And I still don't really have an answer 
for what he's doing offensively. I feel confident being able to score against him because it's just cover three every single play. But like right there, you see I had a purple route. I spotlighted him, and we still couldn't get anything. And then when I would cover everything, he would just go underneath right here. Just beats me over the top with the verts because he had uh, plenty of time because, again, I could not send pressure. You know, pressure bust pipes, and unfortunately, I was just unable to send any because every time I tried, it just didn't work out for me. He would just hit the quick drag or, you know, the running back, and it, it just wasn't worth, uh, you know, sending extra guys uh, for him to go. And then he gets a scoop and score right there right I was about, as I was about to go on ahead and uh, pass the ball. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, but anyways, you can see we're down eight points, and I, I just have no clue what to stop it. But now, like I said, now I, I think about it. What I should have done is I should have come out man-to-man -man quarters. I should have put both cornerbacks in uh, hard flats on the outside, and then I would have manned up the safety. I would have put Kraus safety on the top left, and I would have manned him up on the X receiver on the indent over there on the left side, and everything would have been locked up. If he went to the drag, cutting to the right side, he would have dragged right into a hard flat. If he went ahead and went to the indent uh, vertical on the left side, the hard flat was there. And by the time it cleared the hard flat, Kraus would have been right there for the man-to-man -man coverage. And, and I just didn't think about it until after the game. He's just really, you know, just dotting me up. And, and I'm, you know, really just trying everything. And I just could not stop it. And uh, But I feel, besides that scoop and score fumble, I feel the same thing is going for me. He hasn't really stopped me. I mean, I've made my mistakes, but uh, we feel, you know, real confident on offense. We're just moving the ball against them. And we score. We're going to go for two. We're going to tie the game. So we need a stop right here in order for us to be in position to take the lead. And hopefully we can go on ahead and uh, and get that. So I already know what's coming. But, you know, mind you, right here is just uh, man to man. And he hits it on the left side. Um, the vert, I mean, the, the drag route each and every single time. So, uh, right here, we sent some pressure, but beats me over the top. And that's why sending pressure was just uh, a no no, you know, because I'm already thinking he's going to go underneath really quickly. Then he beats me over the top. This is just pure, just uh, disgusting execution on my end. Uh, defense is just absolutely terrible. And this is why I'm a very, very bad defensive player because I struggle with something as simple as this. You know, and uh, again, I didn't think of what to do to stop it until afterwards. Like now, again, if I did what I just said with the quarters, put both hard flats and man up the, the far left guy on man to man, that would be perfect for it. So we score again, and it looks like it's just going to be a case of, and these are the type of games I'm used to where I really can't stop my opponent, but my offense is efficient enough for me to remain in the game and it just looked like it may be uh, who's gonna have possession last so right here i was like okay maybe we figured out a, uh, a stop i would come out in a cover how, how did how does he catch that i come out and cover three marble and uh, we got hard flats we got purples we got everything locked up clowny with a big block no docket with a big block shed uh very next play we get another block shed so now it's third and 20 damn near so we come out in the exact same play and he chucks it up. we're there but he gets the aggressive catch over me that right there was just, I know my defense was bad, but that's just a, a tough break. There's just nothing I can do against that. Like, he had, I don't know if that really wasn't the best read, but he had the aggressive catch on third and 20 over me, and I wanted to just absolutely just break something. So right here, he's just going to run the ball, force me to call all my timeouts. Um, well, at least that's what I thought of. And he actually goes for a pass. So we stop it right here on third and 15. He ends up going to the pass again. And we get ourselves a sack. So we have one timeout remaining with 14 seconds. So at this point, I just got to chuck it up and hope for the best. And uh, we're going to go on ahead and do exactly that. We have a one-on-one -on -one situation over here on the left side. Hoping Moss could come through for me, put me in field goal range. And unfortunately, he cannot. Then he went to three safety deep. And we end up getting, uh, I believe, sack. No, no, no. We check it up. Gronk almost had it. Almost. But two seconds left, three safety deep. Back everybody up. And that's going to be the end of the game. So he had one play that I just could not stop. And uh, unfortunately, we uh, come out on the wrong side of this one as always man i always lose one game each and every single season i don't know what it is about losing at least one game i've only been able to avoid losing at least once only one time which 
uh, you know, sucks. I would have thought I would have had at least a few more perfect seasons, but unfortunately, we took an L, but as expected, we lose at least once every season, so um, what we have to do here is, you know, try and regroup, and it sucks that I didn't think of the man-to-man -man quarters defense with the hard flats and manning the safeties up until after, because I have the speed to not get beat over the top, and I just did not think about it until after, but... You know, unfortunately, those things happen. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully we can regroup and get ourselves a victory next uh, next gameplay and get closer to uh, winning 10 games. See you guys next video. Peace.